Why, well, everybody? Welcome to the last campfire tales of the Camp Wicked Wild. Many wonders we have to show you tonight. Uh, joining us is Jeff. How are you doing, Jeff? Doing pretty good. Better than this guy in my background, that's for sure. <laughs> His neck got bit off. <laughs> well, I mean, would you call that a bad day? Not for the rabbit, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, also joining us is Dave. How are you doing, Dave? Heidi ho neighborino. You know what? I don't know if I like that. You love it. You don't like it. You love it. All right, fair enough. You got me. You got me. <laughs> How? Uh, so tonight on this glorious occasion, we got the boys. Now we guys. Uh, boys ready? night. It is a boys night. <laughs> Are we ready to uh, take Camp Wicked Wild out on what I may call a banger? Ooh. I'm ready. This is a good one. And before anybody says anything, we've managed to find another story involving a bridge. And yet the well goes deeper. It does. Have I, have over this course of this month, have I, uh, have both you found your love or fear of bridges have increased? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? I mean, I've been indifferent to it the whole time, so I'm not sure if, uh, <laughs> You know, I don't know okay. if it, if if it's swayed one way or the other. I, that, I think you know, we've the, redefined the term bridge troll. Bridge, I think I mean, uh, Eli's been trolling us. I feel like the burden is on you to make me afraid of bridges, <laughs> and so far, I don't think you've done it. So okay, so so far, the, so so we're both saying right now, donkey lady, not afraid of her or her bridge. No, she's just dumb. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Goat man of Popelik, not afraid of his bridge. Not really. No. Huh. More afraid of him, I guess, than the bridge. But I mean, it's his bridge, though. So if you're afraid of him, you ought to be afraid yeah, of the bridge. Is it, though? I mean, I mean, it's his bridge. <laughs> All right. He knows it. <laughs> well, I, don't, I want to see the paperwork on this. Yeah. Jeff is not convinced. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure that I, I, I feel about that. All right. Well, you know what? Third time's the charm. It takes a lot of upkeep to keep a bridge, you know? Well, not Inspections if. Inspections not, and. Not if a uh, 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 fiendish. Some may call them spirits of vengeance. Some may call them fiendish devils. Not if they're the ones owning. Who wants to fix that bridge? I mean, would you want to be the guy like, hey, uh, could you come, come fix our fix our bridge? Uh, we do have to disclose to you. There is a half human, half donkey lady that uh, chases people and dents your car. Are you presuming that these cryptids don't have any? You know, pride about their household yeah. or pride about Is that what you're family. saying? I mean, how do you fix a bridge with hoof fingers? That, they they have to hire somebody. Yeah, they have to get one of those those guys to come in and do the inspection. Where are they getting their money? They just take it off people that they rob or whatever, right? Isn't exactly. that it's barter? Look, I'm not going to damage your car if you'll come yeah. by and sure up my, bridge. On my yep. bridge. You know what happens, don't you? <laughs> she still damages that car. Wow. She's That's... yeah, she's still mean at the end of the day. But they don't know that till afterwards. Now, yeah. see, that's the beauty of the internet. There's plenty of ways to review the service provider. There's zero ways to review the service. Receiver. That's true. They don't. They don't. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And I, I, I doubt that uh, that uh, donkey lady has like a Instagram profile or anything. So I don't, know that. <laughs> you don't think she got Tinder? Yeah, her yeah, system no, is totally word of mouth. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So I, I get the bridge thing. What if I told you tonight I brought you a tale of another half human? Half something else. First, we had donkey lady, half donkey, half lady, goat man, half goat, half man. What if I told you I got another hybrid? Are you more scared of hybrids this month? <laughs> the only thing I would tell you is that you're going to want to purge your uh, browser history after this month. I always go in. I, I would just, <laughs> I would just burn your computer. <laughs> Scare rid of it. Well, we'll get to the punchline tonight. I'm going to tell you a frightening tale which I believe will be our first time taking a little trip to the state of Virginia. Yee! Virginia's a pretty classy place. Well, in general. Well, they got the Appalachians, at least. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, this, this tale might not be a classy tale, though. This is one of those tales they want to hide. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the legend of Bunny Man and the Bunny Man Bridge. <laughs> Didn't he have a bunch of uh, dance mixes in the 90s? <laughs> I think you're thinking of somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay. Have, his, uh, own, his own dance troupe. Yeah, yeah. his own dance troupe. Yeah, that's right. That, that's what the tale. The, the tonight's campfire tale is about a, a dance troupe. 
of somebody called of a group called the Bunny Men. That mm. would be awesome. What it though? I think so. How take us to a whole new level. <laughs> we're not going to talk about any cryptids, lores, or legends. Let's nope. talk about dance. We're going to talk about dance <laughs> dance teams now. Mm-hmm. Have uh, either one of you heard of the legend of uh, Bunny Man or the Bunny Man Bridge? No, no, of course not. Surprisingly, uh, when I was doing research, I was shocked because uh, last week on the or uh, you know Monday on the uh, main show we talked about. Um, Friday 13th part three. This tale actually has a lot of similarities to Jason Voorhees. Hmm. If he had bunny ears. <laughs> if only. Saying, if only. Shall we uh shall we get into it? Absolutely. All right. All right. So this tale takes place in Fairfax County, Virginia, that started in uh around uh the end of October, around Halloween, and Initially lasted for a few weeks past that. Since then, this story has grew to not just occur in Virginia, but there have been sightings of the Bunny Man in Virginia, for other places in Virginia besides Fairfax County, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. So, he's getting closer to the capital. <laughs> the legend has many kind of variations uh, tale stories, off ramps, offshoots, all these, all these kind of things. But there is one common denominator in this tale. The bunny man is either a man wearing a rabbit mask, or some say he may be heart rabbit who attacks and kills people with an axe or a hatchet. Like which part rabbit? Like the lower part? No, I think the the head, the face it, it appears. Okay. Now, if you guys were somewhere and a and someone in a rabbit's mask is running at you with a hatchet or an axe, you'd be scared, right? More scared than bunny or the goat man inoculated, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that's pretty uh, a provocative image you're painting there. Yeah, yeah, the nice thing is you wouldn't even need the bunny mask if you just run at me with an axe or hatchet. Yeah, I mean that's you're pretty get much the same effect. Yeah, yeah. Goat man had a big axe, and you're not scared of goat man. <laughs> well, are weird. I wasn't on that episode, but I heard things. You did hear things. Things that I'll never be able to get out of my brain. You know what? I have one thing to say that. Rusty Sheriff's welcome. badge. Yeah. Well, I was going to say you're welcome, but yeah, the Rusty Sheriff's badge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, like I said, this the the first sighting of the Bunny Man occurred in the early seventies. The first encounter with Bunny Man was a uh, man and his uh, 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 these, this couple who were planning to be married. Um, they were coming home late on a Friday night from a high school football game. And they decided to stop at their uncle's house to visit him, check in on him after the game. And for some reason at his house, you had to park in the field across the street. Uh, didn't really make sense, but they pulled off in the field. And as they were getting ready to exit the vehicle, the uh, this man's wife no, or fiance noticed a figure run past their back window. So as the husband kind of, or the the her um, fiance turns to look behind him to see what was running, her the pastor window was smashed, and someone was looks like they were trying to get into his uh, his lady friend. Uh, he hurries up, jumps out of the car to go assist her, and the individual ran off. And all the man swore he saw was somebody running through the field with long, floppy ears. <laughs> so, quite frightened as they were, uh, they decided that they were going to forego the visit and go to the local sheriff to, to report that they were attacked. When they got to the sheriff department and uh, the, his fiance was getting out of the car, they noticed a hatchet laying on the floor of the, the seat. He must have dropped in the vehicle when he was trying to break into it. And they reported the sighting. A lot of people thought it was weird and made up. A lot of people also thought maybe they were necking on the side of the woods and uh, someone was trying to stop them. <laughs> Jeff, you look perplexed. Was it the term necking that I used? <laughs> <laughs> so far... Uh... 
I'm not sure what's happening with this this bunny man. So oh. <laughs> continue, please. <laughs> I've already I've already figured it out. I've already really? figured out what the confusion is here. Okay. Because what what's happened here is obvious. I mean, you you've already mentioned you've given away the whole story. This couple was at this high school football game. Uh huh. Their home team was playing their big rivals, which was obviously the Carter County Jackrabbits. Mm-hmm. Okay. They were taunting the mascot as they left because uh-huh. the guy had been drinking all day. Of course, like as you would. And he backed his car over the jackrabbit mascot's foot. Probably. Mm-hmm. The rest of the story tells itself. That's that's all that's happened here. You know, normally, mascot. Uh, as common as an occurrence of the story you just told is, <laughs> uh, normally I agree with you, but obviously there's more to the tale. Okay. <laughs> Few so we'll days. we'll pick up from where he got that he got his foot ran over. Yeah, we'll we'll pick up as I as <laughs> yeah, I present okay. more of the more of the, uh, the tale here to you. Okay. A few days go by, and the police get another report. This time it's from a security guard uh, who is watching over a area where they're developing and building like a neighborhood, all these new houses, and his job is at night to just make sure no one comes in the construction area, steal stuff, mess around. And what he would do is he'd walk along the streets in this construction area uh, in the past, just, you know, keep an eye on things. While well, he was doing one of his patrols in the middle of the night, he is walking down this one sidewalk past this house, and he hears a noise, and he turns over and looks, and according to him, he sees an individual standing on a porch in a black and gray rabbit suit with rabbit ears. In an axe, who's repeatedly ramming the axe into the banister on the porch, and he like stops and starts to go towards the individual, who then screams out, "Stay away from me! You're trespassing. If you come any closer, I'll ram this axe into your head." As most securities guards are, uh, one probably above his pay grade. Two, most of them don't have a gun. He decided to leave. Go to the sheriff's and report the incident. <laughs> Over the next uh, couple weeks following these two incidents, there were 54 incidents of people seeing the bunny man, as he started being called, in the area. Either chasing people, um, trying to attack them, uh, damaging their property with his axe. And there was one incident of a farmer who stated he went outside, saw the bunny man eating his cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was hungry, I guess. A little, uh, little turnabout is fair play kind of situation. Yeah, I thought, I thought rabbits only ate like vegetables and stuff. Well, apparently this one eats a cat. <laughs> that also sounds like an excuse for a farmer who probably didn't like his wife's cat. <laughs> is what I was thinking when I read to that. Cause, like, yeah, because like, like if you read all, like if you look at all the instances, there's only one incident like this. And by f- after 54 reports, you can kind of see the guy's mo. And just one of them, there's a cat involved. <laughs> Seems a little suspicious. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> there's always a farmer too, right? Like there's always yeah, who always sees this stuff first is the farmer, quote unquote. That's true. What are, you, are you saying? Like, of, always blaming the working man. I'm just saying that there's a lot of farmers that are involved in some shady stuff. That's all I'm saying. I was going to say, are you saying that questionable? Like, all, all farmers are like part of this? Like, I never said all. Work? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't make uh, encompassing statements like that. Okay. So <laughs> are you I'm just, just I'm observing just, that they I'm come just, up right? I, I'm merely saying that we talk about a lot of these stories and a lot okay. of them involve a farmer. That's all I'm saying. You can draw your own conclusion. I'm not, okay. I'm okay. just presenting so, facts in an orderly manner. You can, what you if can I uh, present to you like this? I would not say all farmers, but we could say uh, a cabal of farmers. <laughs> okay. Uh, appear to be involved in most of these major urban legends and cryptids and these lures, and these stories that come out. To the point where it's almost suspicious. Allegedly, yes. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> we want to throw the word allegedly in there. Well, you have to. You can't. I mean, you don't have any definitive evidence that these this 
underground group of farmers <laughs> in a in an attempt to to increase their revenue shares uh-huh. on their their uh, their farmland. Right. Come up with uh, some kind of tales or perpetrate these tales themselves. <laughs> right. The, okay. The rural Illuminati is that what mm-hmm. we're constructing yep. here? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I ask you one follow up question? Me or John or Dave? I'm sorry, Jesus. Uh, uh, you, because this is your <laughs> this is your theory, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let, let me ask you one follow up question. So you so you're saying this is to maybe potentially allegedly increase their profits, but how? Come, most of these tales evolve like our cows are mutilated, a man looking like a rabbit ate my cat. Like these weird tales, like how would that increase their profitability? Because people, I so like it keeps people away from their farms, so they're free to uh, do whatever they'd like to make money, like meth labs, allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. Okay, I'm just so saying, you, if nobody just, comes snooping around <laughs> when there's a there's thing. a half bunny man murdering your cows, you know what? Fair you enough. know. So now I'm starting to think Breaking Bad got it all wrong. Instead of him being a high school chemistry teacher, he should have been a farmer. Should yeah. have been a farmer that was claiming something was killing his animals. Don't they? Uh, don't they use fertilizer to make? No, that's explosives. Never mind. I, the, <laughs> I, was, I said drugs. You've said too much, Jeff. Yeah, I've said too much. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? Uh, I think we're ready right here, buddy. Uh, thanks for yeah. listening. <laughs> we're going into hiding now. Uh, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well. Obviously, over the course of a couple of weeks, uh, all these instances occurred about a three-week period, uh, end of October to about mid-November. Um, obviously, rumors in the town were flying. Everybody was talking about how all these people were seeing uh, this man who some claimed was half man, half rabbit. Some was claiming was a man dressed as a rabbit or was wearing a rabbit mask with his hatchet or axe causing all these issues. Um, and of course, as talents start talking, uh, answers started coming out. People who claiming they knew things about what this was. And <laughs> kind of there was two main theories about who uh, the bunny man was. Theory one was many folks in town claimed that uh, back in the uh, back in the the early forties, late thirties, early forties, uh, two bodies was found buried in shallow graves uh, in the woods near a certain bridge that we will be visiting soon. Uh, they claimed that there was this uh, woman who looked like she was murdered with an axe or hatchet, and her child, her baby, was buried in a shallow grave. That is the common the commonality between these two theories. One theory says uh, in, the husband was arrested. They literally found the husband who was trying to escape, who he committed these crimes. They arrested him and end up putting him into a mental hospital because he was viciously disturbed. Some say that he dis, he, he managed to escape and they were never able to found, find him. So they assumed he died in the woods. Many people believe that he'd been living in the woods near this bridge and that he finally decided to come out and be active again. So this is your Michael Myers connection. Yeah. Like Michael Myers. Jason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so was he an actual rabbit man? That's what I'm, I'm well, confused here. So he just wore a say, guy with a mask well, on. Some people, the, the people who say it's just a mask are the people that say he can't escape. A mental institution. Now, the people it's who, the mascot, guys. I've told uh, you this. Yeah. Well, the other half. The I time, mean, I feel like you have to be a little off to be a mascot anyway. Like, oh, you know, 100%. I mean, especially you're not exactly uh, living your, you're living I mean, your no best judgment. life there. You know what I mean? You, right. Yeah. yeah you do what you, whatever you want to do. do. Yeah. Yeah. Especially I mean, in Dave's story, because he's a mascot for a high school, which means he's a high school student and he had been drinking all day. Well, and I mean, we he's like. We all know this kid's name is Enos. Yeah, he, which means he's like, had a hard upbringing <laughs> already. He's one of them kids that, like, you know, it's like they just he's he's aging out of high school. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. like he failed three years. Yeah, it's yeah. like, well, it, this is my last year because I turned twenty-one. Type of deal, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they won't let me try yeah. anymore. Yeah, like, <laughs> but he's really great 
at keeping the crowd pumped up. Yeah, yeah. keeps him from keeps well, him going. Obviously, he's drunk, so he's just having exactly. a good time. Mm-hmm. Until someone runs over his foot. <laughs> Fair enough. The other half of the town, though, stated that um, the husband, who they said uh, the police did go after, who they, they believe killed this uh, wife and child, uh, was actually innocent. Someone was framing him. And that when the police found him, uh, he was trying to resist. Police end up killing him. They said that he was he felt so guilty about what occurred and and what happened that his soul went to hell. And just the sheer will of vengeance for wanting to avenge his wife and child, he his soul managed to crawl out of the depths of hell <laughs> under this bridge where he looked human, kind of like a rabbit. And then just started killing everybody he could find to so avenge his wife and child. So if you're killed in Detroit and seek vengeance and crawl back out of the grave, you come back as the crow. Yeah. If you're in rural Virginia, you come back as a bunny the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you come back as a rabbit. Yeah. I guess you don't get to pick your <laughs> yeah your spirit <laughs> animal spirit. Is that the right? I don't know what that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that would be a. Is this dude like Ghost Rider? <laughs> what his deal is like? They know? don't know. There's there's a debate. Who he is, what he does. Well, and you said that he was framed. You know who framed him. Roger Rabbit. It was the Agricolati, which is what the Illuminati of the, <laughs> the farmer. The, the farmer. I, I, they, I they, they would I was, be the Agricolati. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Agricolati, yeah that's yeah. true. That, that sounds like a drink you get on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. That's a pina colati. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, knew that, I knew there was a colati in it. I just didn't know where it fit. <laughs> So these stories are going out of town. Everybody, everybody's back and forth. Oh no, he's an actual man. No, he's a rabbit demon man. <laughs> uh, going back and forth. People were uh, invest. Then there were stories coming out that over the course of the twenty years or twenty like thirty years between these events, that people have been found dead in the woods near that bridge. They found people hanging in trees in the woods around the bridge. During this time, people were going to investigate the bridge to see if they could, if this is where this man, this mystery was at. And a lot of people came back reporting that they found mutilated and some say half chewed rabbits tied and hanging from trees and bridges, from trees around the bridge and the bridge off the bottom of the bridge itself. The town was in a fury. And just as quickly as Rabbit Man came, or Bunny Man came, Bunny man disappeared. Where'd he go? <laughs> no one knows. He's Until hung up his hatchet. Every so often, he went back to Carter County. On, <laughs> uh, on around Halloween, people claim to see the bunny man for a few weeks around Halloween, and they disappears. Yeah, that's the homecoming weekend for the football team. That would make yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, but, but, I'm not letting go of this thread. <laughs> so many of the locals begin to say that he only comes out around Halloween time. Uh, there's been sightings of Bunny Man around Halloween clear up as recently as 2019 of a man in a rabbit suit or a rabbit mask with a hatchet or an axe. Trick or treating. Running around Fairfax County, people claim to see him around Maryland, up into DC. Yeah, trick or treating. Maybe trick or treating. <laughs> um, so if you ask the locals now, many of them say they believe that he returns every Halloween to do whatever he's doing. A lot of folks want to go to the bridge, the Bunny Man Bridge, as it's got the name of. Uh, see it, see if they can find any sign. Actually, and then it actually kind of became real popular because. People started claiming other events were happening. People were saying, believe the area is haunted. They've heard noises, uh, got EVPs. Some people said they've been attacked by spirits. Many ghost hunting shows and stuff have gone there and done investigations. But if you ask the locals, they tell you, don't go to, don't go to Bunny Man Bridge. It's dangerous. So is this bridge like a main thoroughfare, it highly traffic not. bridge? or It's like kind of like a weird bridge in the woods. Oh, okay. And uh, but the locals all say don't go to Bunny Man Bridge. It's dangerous because um, they say if you go to the because 
a lot of people say if you go to the bridge, say his name three times, he will appear and attack you. I in the article I also read, locals also say don't go around that bridge because it's dangerous to play around bridges. You know, <laughs> well, that's not as sexy. <laughs> yeah, <though. laughs> yeah, that doesn't. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's actually like the Department of Bridges and Tunnels. In uh, in in association with the local farmers, <laughs> the uh, the uh, farmanati. <laughs> this this conspiracy runs deep, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yep. As I, they I, always I mean, do. Yeah, I don't have any evidence, and don't ask me for any. But that's <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. Nobody can stop you from. Nobody can it. stop me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that uh, people have gone missing in the area. Um, How many this, people? Uh, I didn't say. Uh, which normally, and when I'm looking at these things and I see that, tells me it's probably not a whole lot. Yeah, it's it's like probably one, just people who got lost in the woods. One person and they moved away after college. <laughs> you know, like, Bunny Man got him. <laughs> uh, but Bunny Man is still feared today in this area. People mm-hmm. still talk about him. Uh, people try to have festivals, but they find that in poor taste. Why? So what What is the significance of the axe slash hatchet? I mean, they say that's just, just what he had. He, or he kills people. Uh, they say uh, that's why he kills people. Well, they think it's because when the wife was found dead, they said she was murdered either with a hatchet or an axe, like she was gotcha. chopped up. And they don't think he did it. Some half the half the town thought it was he who did it, and they said that that they uh, arrested him, put him in a mental institution. He escaped, came back to the area, and started dressing like a rabbit and uh, trying to kill people. Hmm. Started wrecking shit. Maybe it was Abraham Lincoln. What? You ever see that movie, Abraham Lincoln Vampire <laughs> Hunter? Yeah, but he, had a, he had an axe. Like, are you saying <laughs> that Bunny Man is actually like Blade? He's fighting vampires and could be. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. Why would you dress hey. up like a rabbit? Well, that's uh, obviously vampires hate rabbits. What I mean, more likely, if we're going to go that route, I'm saying this is the vengeful spirit of George Washington. Oh, yeah, we know he yeah. used to chop down, to down, the down cherry, cherry tree. tree. Yeah, that's and true. he's from Virginia. Come on, mm-hmm. this is our. Oh, and he master. doesn't want anybody to recognize him, so he puts a rabbit mask on. Exactly. Yeah. But he can wear any other mask because he uh, was no, the rabbit man. Yeah. He was the founding father of the agricolati. Yeah. yeah. See, we we brought he him back. He did around. have farms. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> See. <laughs> Whoa. We might have just gotten dangerously he's, close to the truth. He's accident. upset that he. <laughs> He's upset that he had to cross the river in that boat in winter, so he's that's why he hangs out over the bridge. So exactly, he's like, "Wait, why'd they build this bridge here over this river? I, I was going to use my boat." So he's upset about it. Oh, so he's <laughs> upset because he can't use his boat. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. If it makes for the bridge isn't over, a river. he don't want to show off his, his sweet boating skills. Well, but you know? but the bridge is uh, all the pictures of the bridge. I saw that's irrelevant. That's all over a river. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, why, that's a matter. Why would he take his boat out to the woods and just send it? Why wouldn't he? What exactly. else are you going to do? What else? Gonna do with a boat with no river, or like not get a boat? <laughs> he has one. He can't. He can't unget the boat. Like he, like he has a boat. Like why don't you get a boat? It. It's not. It's not like he like. He's like, oh, I'm George Washington. It's uh 2001. I'm gonna buy a boat. Like he had it his whole life. Like but it's I, heard, I heard he was born with a boat. Maybe in the boat. Are you yeah. saying it's bound to him? It's bound. He's he's bound to the boat and the boat to him. But if he don't have to have a boat, why not just sell the boat? Who's gonna, who's, gonna to buy, who's gonna buy a boat from George Washington in a rabbit mask? <laughs> well, he doesn't have to sell you it with the rabbit mask. Come on, come on. Come on. Like, he, what do you? He doesn't have to sell it with the rabbit mask. He can take. Well, the then mask they'll know off. he's George Washington. You know, you know, like no one's ever seen a live picture of George Washington. Uh, I have a whole wallet full of George Washington portraits. What are you like? <laughs> but it's a drawing. What are you yeah. talking about? Nobody it's knows what know. No, it's not going to be an accurate drawing. I'm sure. I'm sure he did not look exactly like his drawing. I bet he did. They were pretty good at artists back then. Exactly. They didn't have any cameras, so they this had was a good well-established drawing. technology yeah, like, back. I didn't know that. Like, I heard he sat for 19 hours to get his portrait taken. Like, are you saying it's so <laughs> off that you wouldn't be able to pick up on? George yeah, Washington. Like, like he shows up right. Like, like if you had like five people and one of them was George Washington, you were like, eh, that guy doesn't quite look like a dollar. I guarantee no. you, if you you went on the streets and got me ten people, and I found an actual colored portrait of George Washington, none of them wouldn't know who he was. 
Well, that's just irrelevant. So I don't <laughs> <laughs> it's not irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I, you know, you're just adding facts now that don't make any sense. We can just all agree he can't sell this boat. That's just right. Silly. There's no, you can't sell it. Like, <laughs> so he took it out to the woods and he sits in it until Halloween. Then he comes out with his axe. Yeah, yeah. He makes his speeches. It's honestly, we all know it's just for him to get some time away from Martha. He just right. Needs yeah. A break. Yeah. Oh, okay. Martha, <laughs> why'd you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> well, why is he trying to kill people? Oh, what if George Washington was in Batman versus Superman? Oh, he'd wreck and them then, both. And like in and his bunny that, mask. Yeah, and that scene like. <laughs> He comes up and he's like, what'd you say, Martha? And he's like, why'd thou say Martha? And he comes over and like, speak not my wife's name. But what if Batman is, is George Washington? You wouldn't know he had a mask on, right? We all think it's it's uh, Ben but Affleck. Batman doesn't it, wear a rabbit's mask. It's a bat. It's close enough. Wouldn't that be awesome, though, if, if that happened and Washington just calmly went up to yeah. both Batman and Superman yeah. and slapped him like Will Smith did and said, keep my wife's name <laughs> out of your mouth. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I like our story better now, yeah. Chad. Well, see, <laughs> we've brought it full circle. You know what? I don't know. There, if was, I ever... there was water in that movie. He could have been on his boat. <laughs> exactly. Okay, well, how do you explain the ghost and things that they believe are around his What ghost? That, they claim the bridge area is haunted. It's he just that up. It's George Washington and a rabbit. It's just mask. a three hundred year old president. Yeah, Duh. I mean, like we're like we're <laughs> sitting in a boat in his rabbit mask, mm -hmm. just, just waiting for time. Halloween. Yeah, uh -huh. grumbling about that stupid cherry tree. He's like, he's like, he's he he is what Santa Claus is to Christmas. George Washington is the Halloween. Yeah. If you don't think the Agricolati have mastered the technology mm -hmm. to keep George Washington alive, uh -huh. then you're just Come living on. under a rock. Hey, what's, hey, that, what, what's that? What's that? Raza Ghoul's dirt or whatever that is. You, the, 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 the Lazarus pit. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's why I mean, George Washington farmers, is there, so. they know how to they grow know dirt. Yeah. Like they know how to grow. <laughs> okay, it's, it's, or, so what, what, okay. Okay. So here's an alternate theory. What if they're just clones of George Washington that they grow in their dirt farms? Exactly. Okay. All right. I'm with you. Can I, can I follow up your question with a question? Okay. So we've why would the, whole story. No, it's fine. Why would the clone of George Washington decide I'm a clone of the first president of the United mm -hmm. States? Yeah. I'm going to drag my boat up into the woods by this bridge, mm -hmm. wear a rabbit yeah. costume, sit there all year till Halloween time, chase people and try to attack them. And yeah. then when it's not Halloween, I'll hide in the bushes and make people think there's ghosts in the area. <laughs> well, I, you know what? It's not for us to question the the agronomy. I, I, don't know where, like it's not, uh, I mean, like now, you, now you're, you're, you're just, you're, you know what? Like, like I could tell you, but you, you just, you wouldn't understand. You wouldn't understand. I can't, uh, we can't. There's certain things that yeah. you just can't discuss on air like this. I mean, if, if we have if we've learned anything from Yay this year, it's that at a certain level of power and influence, you just lose your freaking mind. <laughs> <laughs> you get really weird really quick. And being the first president, exactly. I mean, that's a lot of pressure. Like it's, it's a lot of pressure. He's not president anymore though. He was the he was the president. Like he will he's always like be president. Capital T, capital P president. Like <laughs> the TP president. The, the, the president, like uh -huh. not 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 a president, the president. The president. all the others have been players. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, he's just out there keeping it one hundred by the bridge. <laughs> exactly. the boat, you know. So that I take it once again, uh, this will neither make you afraid to be around a bridge. <laughs> Why would I be afraid of George Washington? Just patriotic now. But he chases people with an <laughs> yeah. axe. No, that he's trying to tell him something. And once again, he's like, oh, give me a dollar or whatever. And then they're like, oh, this guy got rocks. And they just run away. Nobody, has everybody ever stopped to talk to him? Like, exactly. He broke that lady's window to try to get in her car with her. Right, because, well, she probably had a dog locked inside with the windows up or something. But she was in the car. Well, she maybe she lost her keys. I don't what know. What does George Washington know about, know about horseless carriages yeah, he anyway? He doesn't know. He's like, he what is this? He thought it was a runaway yeah. cart. He, he thought, was trying to save he her thought, life. Yeah, somebody... <laughs> He thought this big metal monster was eating her, and he's trying to save her. Oh, so you're saying the Bunny Man is the uh, Avenger? Now, quit calling him the Bunny Man because it's George Washington. Oh, he's the president. He loves. Oh, yeah. Love your friend. So you're saying George Washington? Yeah. And his George rabbit Bunny mask, Man Washington. George, what George Bunny Man was? His, his Rabbit Man mask and his hatchet is actually the silent hero. Yeah, exactly. Of uh -huh. this area in of Virginia. West of Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not the hero they want. He's the hero, He's the hero they, they need. They need. Oh, okay. 
So then did he kill that woman and her child and buried them in a shallow grave? No, yeah. that was that was wasn't that well I heard they were uh, redcoats or whatever. Right? Yeah. In the in the forties? They were oh, investigating probably, the Agricolati. They yeah. had to go. Yeah. They, they to tried go. to warn them several times. The 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 child I mean I'm was sure a, it wasn't I mean I'm sure it situation. wasn't him that did it was probably like Sam Adams or something one of his <laughs> exactly. you know what I mean that did it like so now you know, it is the story, badger we know uh, he's the badger right right, right. <laughs> Benedict Arnold so in, the, in this tale you've created uh-huh. not only have they cloned George Washington so he can be around still yeah they've just cloned other people from right why, yeah. why wouldn't they if you're gonna clone one you well you, you have to figure they probably don't want to have a conversation with george washington would you <laughs> i mean so yes they have to clone people that are from his time frame that exactly. allow him to have conversations so. <laughs> i okay I, all right i don't even know what, this what, what, this what? may be the first time i've seen eli at a loss for words <laughs> well i'm just trying to think why no one would want to talk to george washington <laughs> No, it's not that they don't want to. Well, it's the so George initially, want to talk to people well, of the twentieth yeah. century. Well, yeah, honest. that's the thing. Like, if you, you know, you you you're like, oh, George Washington, it's cool, and then you go up and he starts talking, and you're like, all right, I'm gonna go now. Like, you know, he's just like because <laughs> yeah, like, you know he's gonna be racist. And well, well, racist. yeah, like he's, he slowly pulls his bunny hat on, like, you know, no, like, like yeah, I gotta go, George. Hey, uh, John Hancock, come on over here, and uh, they probably cloned everybody that signed the Declaration of Independence. I'd say. <laughs> Yeah. They were had a list, right? So they can just. You know. uh, well, I I'm gonna regret asking this, <laughs> but why w- this clone George Washington? Mm-hmm. Why don't ever fear the truth? Where did he get the bunny man mask or the bunny mask? Martha. Yeah, well, I mean, she sewed it. Exactly. What was that? Uh, Betty Ross, wasn't that? Or Betsy well, she Ross? Did the fly, yeah. It, yeah, and the bunny mask. Yeah. Probably say that together. Well, why would you? I, I've been to Martha's Vineyard in Abington, Virginia. There's mm-hmm. bunnies all over that thing. Yeah, they're it's all over major the place. decor thing. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, and why? Fun is- fact. Fun fact. Um, you know how the American, uh, the, the the USA bird is the uh, eagle, bald eagle. It was going to be a rabbit originally. Mm-hmm. I thought but, it was going to be uh, a turkey the, originally. No, that was, was going to be a rabbit. Yeah. rabbit yeah. Rabbit's yeah. not a bird, though. Yeah. It's, well, uh, yeah, but I mean, it's an animal, so <laughs> it's close. <laughs> What's our national bird going to be? Rabbit! <laughs> They're like, all right, George. He's going <laughs> on. Like, Whatever you say, President. <laughs> like, well, he's, like, he likes he's like sitting in the back stroking his rabbit, like, <laughs> yes, we will make it a rabbit. <laughs> we, we'll win this one, Fluffy. <laughs> we'll, we'll win this one. <laughs> Rabbit so much. Why is he like mutilating him and killing him and hanging him out, hanging he, up underneath his bridge? That wasn't him. That's what he's waiting for those people. Exactly. That's who he's killing. But, like is the bunny hater. The people that come to like check out these rabbits, and he's like, "Oh, this guy must have did this." <laughs> Axe to the head. And so he just yeah. keeps thinking these guys keep showing up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Clone. It, it's like when you make a copy of a copy, right? He's been cloned a lot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the ink is getting low in yeah. the printer. Yeah. You ever see that? Was that multiplicity or whatever yeah. he was? Like, you know, like, like he's probably on. You know, he's not walking straight at this point. You figure what's it, what's the average clone lifespan? About two hundred years or so. You know what I mean? So uh-huh. he's probably on about eight or nine now. Okay. I mean. All right, you got to be getting running low in the old GW tank, you know, you know right. what I'm saying? The old GW tank. I mean, they, they they don't they want to avoid thawing his original body to get DNA from it. Oh, so, I need that for the apocalypse, because, right? So, well, they leave destroy it the thawed, so they right they try to oh, stretch it out as to try to stretch it out how, as long as how possible. How did they though. freeze him in the 1700s? In the Potomac, duh. There's even oh, a right. painting of that. Yeah, like did you see that ice? <laughs> the, the real story is he was crossing it, but he actually fell in. They didn't. You don't know that part. The George wow. Washington fell in the Potomac. It just instantly and, froze. And six, a thousand years later, or whatever, they they found him. It's like Captain America, and they thawed him out. Like, in 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 they in had river. to infuse him with the blood of his bunny Fluffy. Though. That yeah, maybe yeah. he was fr- well. He was froze with it. Like he had his rabbit. Year. So when they were painting it, the, the guy wouldn't paint the rabbit in there because he was like holding the rabbit when he was going across the river, like doing that thing, you know. Right. right. And he, they both fell in, and their DNA fused. <laughs> oh, so like, so like donkey lady, like donkey lady. No, exactly. no, not like donkey. Donkey lady is lame. This is awesome. <laughs> you know what? Is it wrong that I hope uh, uh, through the process of this of this podcast and campfire tales that we get so 
um, influential <laughs> that eventually, like, people just say, like, George Bunny Man Washington. Well, yeah, like, people of... are like, you know, people, like, they don't really know where they heard, but they go, I heard a rumor that Bunny Man was <laughs> it'll, be like, it'll be like the Slender Man phenomenon. Yeah. We just invented new, uh, new cryptids or whatever. Yeah. If you don't think there's a shirt coming with George Washington <laughs> holding a bunny on the Potomac, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> is he going to be wearing a bunny mask too? No. How this would you know it's George bunny. Washington? This is his pre-Bunny Man Oh, phase. okay. This was the day it happened. Yeah, That's yeah. This oh, was. Oh, okay. Yeah. This so is, now, it's like, we're it's like the evolution of George Washington is what we okay. call it. So now we're saying like his clone. It's not necessarily that he's, he's, he's being cloned a lot. His DNA was mixed with his, with his rabbit. When they fell into a river that's frozen for 23 minutes a year. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. froze and fused them together. Cause he just happened well, to go in that well, time frame. It was that fl- it, like he it is, it's like, like for some reason, um, Ben Franklin was experimenting with dry ice exactly. while they were crossing. And that's what flash froze. So him. Ben Franklin was there too. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. He and was, there was a freak was, lightning storm that struck right, the river. That right struck the river in. right when he fell in, ignited the dry ice, and flash froze <laughs> George Washington and his rabbit. <laughs> Done. And the agriculati has been covered in dry ice since. that explodes when you throw it in a large body of water. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do you, you don't know chemistry, obviously. That's a, that's exactly. Oh, what sorry, that Bill Nye. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just I want this tail to grow. I'm just trying to make sure we iron out any of the holes in the. Cake, it doesn't right? matter because it'll change every time that we talk about it. Because there's, there's it's a, it's a rich and storied history <laughs> that we're we're building here, so you know. I feel uh, like uh, there's we're post- already miles ahead of the donkey right, yeah. lady. Story. <laughs> yeah, I know. What- <laughs> I mean, we yeah. can always get donkey lady involved in the story. We've got establishing history on our side. I, I don't want to taint this with the tales <laughs> of the donkey lady. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, you know, I, I think you're a little unfair, donkey lady. No, no, nope. you're the spirit of vengeance. I, I don't against even wanna... fenders right yeah like what was she like a body shop technician in her former life or whatever was that the uh was that what her deal was you know? at least washington's out here getting shit done i'm tired of these insurance companies <laughs> <laughs> you're right you're right dave he's getting stuff done. Dog, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're, you're right dave he's getting stuff done by sitting in a boat in the middle of the forest <laughs> Yep. And attacking people who he thinks are attacking rabbits under this bridge. Oh, I'm but, sorry, Eli. Have the you night falls. created an underground agricultural mastermind community cabal that uh, has been running all of the food sources of the globe for the last 300 years? There's, oh, you ever there's, there's an inordinate large amount of vegetables in our food source. Exactly. Like rabbits like vegetables. And what is it called? Yeah. It's called... Rabbit food. Rabbit food. Whoa. Uh, the night is come and his watch begins. That's all I have to say about George <laughs> Watson. I, all I have to say, there is multiple times during this tale you two have created <laughs> that we've gotten very close to creating a real conspiracy theory. <laughs> and I'm excited and scared at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to start sending you... Uh, we're, we're, I'm going to send you letters from the Agricolati. Yes, <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like I should start as TikTok. On, on the conspiracy TikTok, like, listen, everybody, who's <laughs> watching? Taking <laughs> news. <laughs> the Agricolati. <laughs> George Washington, Ben Franklin, and rabbits. <laughs> We've done some good work here tonight. I'm proud of us. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a that's a that's a, that's a wild ride you two just. Little know. did you know, Eli. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, no, I like. I used to think that like um, anybody in the group that would be convinced that they were like sneaking stuff in the water, it was gonna be me. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be me. That I come and here. here tonight. I come here tonight, and now <laughs> you two have me questioning every eating a vegetable again. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And not trusting rabbits. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> See how fast they multiply. That's Why not a coincidence. You- some of this information might be inside too, Eli. Just keep that mm-hmm. in mind. I mean, I grew up on a farm, and we all know what I, cryptid I have inked on my arm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. I grew up on a farm, and I am not a part of that. Well, well they don't well, accept everybody. Can be. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> I I have crows tattooed on me. Oh well, then you're screwed. <laughs> everybody knows that crows are the rabbit's arch enemy. So. <laughs> exactly. 
And by proxy, George Washington's arch enemy. <laughs> you know what? It's funny you say that because we used to have a bunch of rabbits in our backyard, and then a pack of crows was taking up residence in one of our trees and scared all the rabbits away. So the crows were winning. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean that one. One they were they would be winning if birds were real. But yeah, well, I mean we all know birds aren't real. It's all an illusion, man. Exactly. Digital crows. Yeah. (laughs) I I thought I saw one glitch a little bit. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I uh, wow. I don't even know. (laughs) I just now what you gonna do? (laughs) I uh. Well, I I know one thing. I have uh, I know you two will never be afraid of bridges or the things that may live on them. No. Nope. <laughs> um, I am a little proud and a little scared how fast <laughs> you built this tale with America's first president, who is now a rabbit mask wearing, axe wielding, boat sitting floating. in a boat in the middle of the woods, psychopath. Well, that's Judgy. <laughs> Judgy. His, code, his code name is Watcher on the Bridge. So. <laughs> but he, but so his boat's on the bridge. Maybe you don't know. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're, that, we're, we're getting into details that we can't divulge. You can exactly. see we're just pictures gonna, of the bridge. We're getting, we're no getting into details. Uh, you ever see the Predator? No. <laughs> exactly. Oh, you say he can make his boat invisible? He might have Predator technology. He, a, yeah. he might Hi, it, hypothetically. Wink, he might have predator technology. <laughs> oh, I like that wink you put in there. Yeah, I got again, you're dealing with an organization that's been around for millennia controlling the food source of the planet. They've got resources, they yeah. They, I mean, if you can clone rabbit head George Washington, you <laughs> definitely have predator technology. Exactly. I mean, I can't argue that. I can't argue that. I can't argue that. And you know, cloning becoming a thing, they can clone livestock. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean that's that's a diversion. It's like it's like they just they're just leaking cloning out. Yeah, that's a little slowly. fake news to throw you they, off the trail. They don't want. I mean, they don't want everybody just going and cloning dead presidents. They just they're, they're, you know. I mean, they're sell. You can buy cloned meat in grocery stores. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody Where wants meat come from? Hoover to show up. Somewhere. Meat comes from farms. <laughs> it does. Just saying. So who do you so think that, controls that? Are you saying that this fake meat industry, this plant based, it's not meat fake. Industry, yeah, on the public record, I'm not saying anything. Anymore. Yeah, I'm just yeah, talking. Well, of crazy. course not. Don't, I've just been drinking record. on that, and I'm just don't put crazy. words in my mouth. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> right. Well, I'm nope. just saying. So is, is that? I plead the fifth. Of? I plead the fifth. Okay, fair enough. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. So I feel like I, we should be telling people not to eat plant based meat. I didn't say that. If you want to eat something that, you know, you want to eat, go ahead. Just call it by its proper name, rabbit food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow man i tell you what i uh i found this little ditty of a tail i was gonna make some jokes about jason and uh, rabbit ears <laughs> but this just turned into <laughs> you're wow. welcome yep. i feel like every day now i'm gonna check on reddit for the bunny man post until i see one where it's like is bunny man george washington <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have a map of virginia up in his basement yeah, yeah. with the it's yarn the, yeah all the, all, all the little dots here's the like here's where george washington <laughs> went over Supposedly the potomac died, here's, yeah. where, here's the last mark of the, the bunny man here's his homestead like <laughs> you guys might be onto something because they said like it started just in fairfax then they started seeing him in maryland right then they've been seeing uh, him yeah so is he going all the places going, that mm-hmm. washington had houses yeah Including Whoa. the house. Have you have you ever uh, uh, do this? Get the bunny man sightings okay. and get an old map where George Washington houses are and lay them over top of each other, and they form a rabbit head. So he walked <laughs> in the path of a rabbit head. Well, how else? he can't take his boat? There's not enough rivers. <laughs> but he can take it out in the middle of the woods. Yeah, he drug it out in the woods. You know, you're going to drag your boat from Virginia to DC. <laughs> That's a little much, even for. <laughs> Even for a, a nine-time cloned ex-dead president that was frozen <laughs> in, in the when when did was it fourteen hundreds? I don't even know. I, I am good at it. Seventeen hundreds, like yeah, you know. Guys, I mean, if if you still have questions, and I'm surprised Eli that you have not caught on yet, but I'm just gonna share a couple of things here with you in my background that I think uh-huh. will bring everything into clear focus. Oh, is that? That's George Washington. Yep. 
That's Biden. And Joe Biden. And George Washington. It's and a George man Washington. in a rabbit costume. Uh, you say it's George Washington. Call him by his proper name, George Washington. There's George Obama. Washington. George Washington. With, uh, okay, there's President Obama with, with a man dressed in a rabbit. You're saying it's George Washington. Allegedly. I can do this all day. Yeah. I can do wow. this all day. Wow. <laughs> so are you saying that every year when the White House does their Easter egg hunt, Washington is there. Yeah. Obviously. What like <laughs> why does he care about children? He doesn't. He's controlling the house. Ha, he he shows up on Easter and delivers his his agenda to the president. Okay. Right? Under in the an guise, Easter egg and a decorated egg. Right. Under the guise of a man dressed in a rabbit suit. Okay. And then he goes back to the bridge and waits for people. Who might be hurting his rabbit. Right, it, it makes complete sense. I don't. I'm not sure what you're yeah. not getting about this. Eli. You know what? You, you're sold. I'm. I'm in. I, I'll, I'll buy. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. I don't think there's anything to buy. I think we've yeah. shown yeah. the evidence yeah. at this point. Yeah, there is. I think you. I. <laughs> it's I, concrete. It's 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 indisputable. Now, now I'm questioning any any company that has rabbit image. Saris's candy. Mm-hmm. What's that about? Uh, trick cereal. What's that about? Well, he doesn't associate with the trick rabbit. Oh, that's, that's oh, don't we, uh, we can't don't talk about that. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, I'll, be, I'll be past that. I'll be past that. Uh, Blue Bunny, probably my favorite cream. one so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Bush. Right. You, know, you can even tell in this one, Washington doesn't yeah. want to be there. He's yeah, <laughs> he's like, ah, come on. Uh. Oh man! I, so okay. So let me ask you this: in your in your story, okay, we're actually, story. Uh, I'm um, sorry. In, yeah. You better watch yourself. You better I'm watch. Sorry. In yeah. in what you're telling, they listen. They have large ears. Uh huh. They right. listen to all. Those aren't just for show. Exactly. But Washington doesn't have real rabbit ears. How do you? Know? How do you know? Okay, you speak right. so confidently. We know that he's all got right. half the DNA of Fluffy. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So let me ask this. So, so according to according to the facts you have laid before me tonight, <laughs> let's just well, go evidence. Let's, let's not polish yeah, it. It's I don't evidence. want. Yeah, evidence. evidence. Okay, evidence. Why would he spend his time under this bridge in Virginia when he should be in like Las Vegas, stopping all these magicians messing with rabbits? Uh, that's like a vacation so small. for rabbits. Yeah. What so do you small. like? That's you don't see the you rabbits. don't see the big picture. You just don't yeah. get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, how uh, how else is a rabbit going to get to Las Vegas? Like by being pulled out of a hat? Yeah, that's like a teleporter. Oh, oh okay. Oh, so now we got teleporters in this. Of yeah. course we do. Yeah. We've got DNA. <laughs> we've got token. <laughs> of course we've got, we've got, got teleporters. teleporters. Uh-huh. Like yeah, have you ever stuff. seen? Have you ever seen a rabbit on a plane? No. How else are they going to get to Las Vegas other than use the magic hat teleporter? You know. What well, I I, I, let me let me rephrase that. So it's a a hat. It's a teleporter disguised as a magic hat, right? Okay. You know, you know what I hate right now? What's that? Is I know what it feels like for you two when you're exactly. talking to me. <laughs> and especially because like I try to say those definitive answers that you have to agree with. In this case, Jeff, when you said, have you ever seen a rabbit on a plane? I have not. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> See? I have not. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, now I know what it's like for you two. I, I don't know whether I should be proud or frustrated. Both. <laughs> a little bit both. I you can be two things like George Washington. I just want you to know, Eli, and I, I understand your frustration, but you know, you, you brought us the donkey lady. I you did. You brought us the goat man. I did. You you brought us the bunny man. And I did. we just tried to finally reveal to you that we're on board with one of your mm-hmm. stories. And all you've done this whole time is critter size. Oh, I, hate so much. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I'm just surprised this didn't happen with well, Donkey Lady. Or well, well, me and Dave, we had a talk. Me and Dave, because like you were skirting the line with this Goat Man and this Donkey Lady. Yeah. We're like, yeah. we knew he was coming. Like you're getting, you're, 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 you were on the trail. You know yeah. what I mean? So right. we figured we better just lay it all bare for you and bring me yes, to the sir. fold. Well, we'll get you on board and we'll see, we'll, we'll take you to see GW and see what he says. Oh, so you guys have met GW? Oh. Uh, I didn't say that. No, Jeff. Uh, yeah, we we've met the Easter Bunny. That's yeah. who we've met. Oh, yep. Well, I've I've It'll met be the at the Easter mall when in uh, April. Yep. Well, was it really the Easter Bunny? So he travels all around. 
I'm not going to get into it. He doesn't have to. He's cloned. There's thousands of him, maybe, allegedly, possibly. Oh. In places of influence. And then on top of that, he's got teleporters. Oh, places of influence, like malls. Of course. Everybody knows that all malls centers. are built on ley lines. I don't like, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, everybody knows that. Like, what do you, you know? It's weird. They always see chemtrails above malls. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. Man. <laughs> we, we cracked the code tonight. Oh, we already had the code. Yeah, so. there was no code. Yeah, we, we were already, uh, we're just enlightening you a little bit. And the good news is you don't have to worry because this episode's never going to get to the public because you're going to disappear after this. Yeah. But oh. you had a good run and we appreciate the work you've done. Okay. Uh, where am I going? Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just say this. Uh, whoever's coming for me, I don't think they'll know what to do when they get here. And I'm taking my shirt and my pants <laughs> off to my underwear. And I just start so slathering. So you can poop on them? Nope. Well, that's the fence option them too. But I start slathering myself in Crisco. And, and all of a sudden they look, they go, what's that fresh dirt pile over there? And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know who else digs holes? Rabbits. Exactly. You know who, what eats moles? Rabbits. Rabbits. Moles are faster than rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> You've once again proven how little you know. <laughs> hey, all I know is the, the moles in our yard don't seem to afraid of the rabbits. Probably because they know they're in the yard of the mole king. Well, we'll see. The rabbits that you've seen around your house are professionals. Let's just yeah. put it that way. Yeah. They're there for other purposes than eating moles. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't do too much. Do you, you ever see them just looking out or looking at you through the window? Well, I mean, sometimes I take my dog out. They're just sitting like in my driveway, just staring at me. Mm -hmm. I don't think they can reach my window. You know, one of the greatest political treaties. Uh, that has made it to the public came out in, in Great Britain before um, Watership Down. Mm -hmm. Where do you think? Where do you think that came from? I mean, that is obviously a propaganda piece for the Agricolati. Oh, Watership Down has always been the story of how um, government should be run. Right, and and the FDA written by Washington, of oh, course, of course. under of course. a pseudonym, of course. Oh, of course, and and the FDA, Food and Drug Administration. Oh, that's a shell. Yeah. Oh, it's a shell. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah it's a what, control I mean, they system. Have to have, yeah, they have to have a front. I mean, you can't. Once again, getting dangerously close to a real conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> real dangerous. Huh? Well, uh, I don't even know. Uh, man, I I feel like I just went through. Uh, All right. I have uh, Eli's IP address, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's been uh, nice knowing you, Eli. Uh, fair you, enough. you did a great job. We're really proud of you. <laughs> fair enough. I, I feel like I just went through an educational uh, workout. Team one move in. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, no, I feel like I went through an educational thing, so I, I appreciate that. Uh, that's a, I think what a way to, to end Camp Wicked Wild than by potentially altering the history of a story told. <laughs> It's the seventies, and the confusion of uh, Fairfax, the seventeen hundreds, or seventeen hundreds, excuse me. As now they start hearing whispers in the wind of Bunny Man is George Washington, <laughs> and the confusion they must have. You're welcome. All right. Well, I, well, I'm just going to assume that this was your favorite tale that we've discussed here during Camp Wicked Wild. Well, I like folklore. What we've done tonight is not folklore. This is just history. But I've, I've enjoyed it. I mean, oh, we've got all oh, real history. That's right. You know, this might be the first most historical accurate episode we've ever yeah, done. Yeah, this is journalistic. Mm, yeah, this is. <laughs> right, right. Like Watergate. I mean, I'm not trying to brag because you know me. I would never want to rabbit it in. You're just the worst. Literally the worst. <laughs> just the worst. I uh, I feel like I uh, I got to send an apology letter to... to the donkey lady bridge and uh goat man uh public bridge like sorry they, they thought your bridges were lame because we knew we knew the original the og we we, we came mm -hmm. we came for the last episode with with hardcore facts and no one believed you and tonight it got for real okay well <laughs> all right <laughs> on that note i don't want to breed confusion 
That one makes me feel gross. <laughs> that one makes me feel gross. I know you're about ready to hop off this. Podcast. Oh my god, I just can't even <laughs> look at you right now. I can't even look at you. <laughs> I don't know how people sit in the same room with you. <laughs> I think at this point we're living on burrowed time. Oh my god, just stop it. <laughs> what do you have a rabbit dictionary up? <laughs> Years oh of God. training. You know, there's not many words associated with rabbits. You'll learn the language. Well, you won't, but yeah. others will. <laughs> others will. <laughs> well, on well, that note, I guess it's my uh, my last one here. Uh, <laughs> from now on, as you go throughout life and you see a, a fluffy cottontail or at Easter when you're staring at a rabbit delivering your eggs, think of me. Just think of me. <laughs> Oh, that dude, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to another fun filled episode of Campfire Tales, especially the last one here at Camp Wicked Wild. <laughs> uh, we appreciate you all coming along for quite a journey with us as we took a tour around the U.S. of bridges. Uh, we found out that both Jeff and Dave are could survive being attacked by a predator. That also occurred. Uh, now, since I know. Apparently, your guys' involvement in all these we things. We got the knowledge, yeah. No surprise. No surprise. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that happened. I, I'm flabbergasted right now. I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> you can check us out on our website at uh, wickedwildweare.com. Check us out on Twitter at wickedwildweare. Leave us a review on iTunes or Spotify. Five stars. This is uh, Everybody knows October is five-star month. This, this one's dropping in November. That's also five-star month. It's where they made two months in a row. Uh, so five stars. If you can leave us a comment on like iTunes, just put a emoji of a rabbit. We'll know, <laughs> we'll know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if you can put emojis in podcast ratings, but you can try. You sure can. Yeah, do it. We'll know what it's about. <laughs> well, I won't. I won't be here anymore. But <laughs> these two will know what it's about. Remember him fondly, people. Eli's taking a sabbatical. So I'll be back <laughs> with you guys next week. To, uh... <laughs> On that note, we have a quick announcement. <laughs> yeah, they've been cooking down. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, anybody have anything else they want to say before we? Uh, wrap I think up I've, this? I've said enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to split hairs at this. point. Oh my god! <laughs> <All right. laughs> You're canceled. <laughs> canceling you. I'm canceling. Well, everybody. Uh, on that note, I normally I'd say don't go near that bridge or something, but apparently maybe you do want to go near this bridge. Where your where your rabbit here is high. Bye, everyone.